eyes of the Mass Effect 2. No messages for you, Commander. sensors.
so. Fuck.
message coming no, 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 no. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Nope. Change of plans, Commander. No. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him in through the comm room. Change of plans, Commander. Fuck. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him in through the comm room. Patching the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. So shit. Visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Somewhat resembles an insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your heart suit computer.
profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Maybe the missing humans are on it. Unless they're dead. Same containers as on Horizon. Only empty. Small, like my tank. Bet they begged for mercy. from control group discarded after experiment was over there are worse things than death like being a test subject for twisted aliens this was wrong inhumane even if collectors needed to kill for experiments could have ended lives painlessly whatever dead is dead from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? These are only preliminary experiments, but they reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. True. Not a fate to wish on any species. Let's find what we need Hello. before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Yeah, it's... Yes, it means I have to think about what I'm doing. I probably have to go pick up all the uh, these squad members before I do anything. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable. 
probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Uh, the elusive man just said that some Turians had been fighting the ship and been destroyed. To go check this out. We can use this. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. That's... big. So many pods. Could depopulate all Terminus systems. Still wouldn't fill them. Only one conclusion. Collectors targeting Earth. Not if we stop them. There. Control panel on the platform. Should be dead collectors. Something's wrong. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. The we need a little help here, Edie. Thank you. 
I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The Collectors were the source. It is unusual. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message Man. as bait. No, it is unusual Manly, please, because Rupi. Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible now, that basically. the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? Oh, what? Hmm. Yeah. He betrayed us. We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. Behavior within norms for Cerberus. Not unexpected. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector yeah, ship same. is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
Jesus Christ. Scum. Target, what's of you? Problematic. 
Killer Bunny TV started hosting you. Nice. Edie, we got a problem here. A temporary setback on Firewall 3217. Rerouting commands through Firewall 716. Fucking erectile dysfunction interface, man. Can't okay, trust it. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. Oryx fire dogs started toasting me as well. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting hosted. Uh, I'm not sure actually. Thanks. So. Get us the hell out of here! 
fucking dirty traitor and bastard. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The Collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't Fuck trust you. you. Martin Sheen. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, what? I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. Fucking hell. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, so you know if you're boiling with that Edie big fucking star suspicions. behind them. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million yeah. year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. I wonder how the it dictates when the next story mission is. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. 
Even the collectors don't have that kind of technology. It's gonna be some kind of fucking crazy Dyson sphere. The collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the citadel. Who's to say Sucking they can't build everything. a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF really must trigger cool. the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Dyson spheres are fucking cool. It's possible. <laughs> They're fucking. Think how fucking cool that would look. Nah, man. Get some nano machines to build it. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's I a derelict thick. Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Aye, listen to me, Jacob. Your ideas are shite. Renegade? Probably. Yeah. Yes. I love it. Still need to get to Chuchanka, Shepard. My students being held by blood pack. That was what I'll triggered. talk to you later, Morden. We'll be here if you need the me. mission. Yeah. Everyone has. A, I've got them off. Everyone, I think. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. As far as I'm aware, I don't think I have one for what's his name? Uh, is this Hassan's name?
You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. The Normandy crew delivered, including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Thane would like to see you down in life support Ooh. on the crew deck. Samara Thane. would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? That's Just eager to get going. We'll talk later. Commander. Don't care if he dies. Maybe the show would get a bit more lively if he was dead. Shepard. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Cole yet. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Cole yet. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. He 
You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea lion. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be king of the moor. Dark Souls. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Banker store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. I'm glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her.
This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. Me over. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing Grab was as I thought river. it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Just, just destroy your own children. Those moments change. You're gonna lop your and balls off, I think. Of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter, and kill her. We'll go find Morinth. I mean those uh, those monks, Tibetan monks who make those beautiful sand uh, scrub it all away. I do the same with my shit every morning. Yeah, I make beautiful sculptures of it and then just fucking make to, like tightly clench my fists and just bang my fists off of the off of it, and it goes everywhere. Uh, no. I'm a eunuch. Stars, no coincidence. This ain't a circus in a tent.
I remember a couple of course one called Gotha. Yeah, because it's in Geth space. to bring with me. Morden and Garrus. Uh, the dream team.
I really want Shockwave, but I also want to put this into Assault Mastery. Serious issues with my shields. Need to avoid sunlight. Keep to shaded areas. Incoming dropship. Headed for combat. Oh! This should punch through their armor. There we go! One less to worry about. Ooh. That's not even in the sun. What? Wait, they're my teammates. Where are they? Shade. Fire in the hole. 
Where are they? Wait, actually? Status of your team. How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. Down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. What brought you this deep into Geth controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. Any idea where the Geth came from? Do we have to worry about the guests sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. The patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. Any idea where the One guests the came from? Ships found the systems under guest control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hope How are you holding up? We can be there and careful. Got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Oh. 
sorry. Enemies in front. seen them. Collectors are just proteins, apparently. You have them as well. Oh. I thought you 
das hier. Wie gesagt. Hm. Ups, warum war ich denn mal hier warten soll? Gleich, mit deinem Gleich. Wow. Excellent. Should be enough. Have to move quickly. Large impact radius. friend huh? you can use this Gorian architecture there's two words you don't expect to hear together colony is deep in geth territory why would Corians come here now definitely not a boss fight coming up It's Shepard. I'm sorry. Everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. 
It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth, and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please, do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Oh! I dropped my phone. Ah, oh, Jesus. My box is so tight, I've got no fucking blood to my balls. We've been spotted. Oh. Both disappeared. Some sort of protein field. So it's one of the fucking these guys. Colossus. Problematic. Get down. Uh. 
definitely like old times. His pilot. Squad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I've still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Callie's inside over there. The Jeff killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. The best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, but one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. Is your suit damaged? Combat seals clamped down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the Geth. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. This is our best shot. Enemy!
Oh shit. Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Corians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Ah, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Mission complete. Campaign complete. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. One more Your step towards killing the really terrorist scum. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet. But I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you. Man, Not fucking hell, like, everyone, like... Like, what happened to Shepard? Like, when she died, did she just fucking... Like, completely forget everything. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. 
We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally's order. Everyone else comes up to you and gives you a reading. You're fucking crazy. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. AI? Snake should be a companion. So he can constantly ask questions about the AI and get confused and not know how any of it works. What's a computer doing in space, huh? No, I can't. Fuck. Oh. Just wasted that money. Did that fuck up all my stats? I don't even know how it works. Wait, where does Tally? Where does she hang out at? Commander, you've ships. received a new message at your private terminal. Engines are... Engineering. I'm assuming anyway. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. What can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. 
It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I don't like working with them any more than you do, but we need them. I know. Just watch yourself. You're their best weapon right now. But as soon as you no longer serve their needs, be ready for them to turn on you. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Fucking walked off screen. shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Carry Commander. on, Jock. Carry on, Jock. Too small. <laughs> what? Small and sell dip pills. I like the idea that there is actually guys who have followed these and it's worked and they have these gigantic oversized cocks that just like are a complete burden on their life. <laughs> I think a good sketch actually. Like a guy getting like seeing one of those adverts and like asking his pal and his pal's like fuck dude, these things don't fucking do it and these make you ill. And then he actually takes them and he gets this big massive fucking cock that just destroys his life.
We done Miranda's mission last night. Who's left? Sex Kohlberg and Gotha. see it all. Just a, uh, like, get mission. The fuck? That's weird.
1943, what the fuck? <laughs> in the description of that planet talking about a Krogan down. Rogue launched. She, I don't know. I want the warlord, obviously. That just makes him do more damage. Still adds damage to his weapon anyway. So I get him Solarian scientist, so I'm saving up. You can choose to have basically more shields or more damage. Uh, he dies quite often when we're fighting so shields. I want to get Assault Mastery.
stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pact only recruits Krogan. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Mm -hmm. oh, it builds character. Oh, was that him? The same guy? Oh, shit. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief a little. It's not a deal. Right. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Here? The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. You know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. This game would be better if all the Krogan had Michelangelo's voice. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Torians who's boss. Terrible right. Tear their scales off and let the hijacks based on the bomb. Heard not clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one is fine. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Were you around when the female camp sent the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with them. You don't want anything I sell, human. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. <laughs> Good Baron. Stay. You can pet the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rin call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got yeah. weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys, they come in and steal food. Call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Why'd you call the Pijacks off world vermin? An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elitania. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off a ship and started stealing food and shitting everywhere. I can't imagine you let him walk away after that. Not a chance. Hmm. One ball of pie jock dung nailed the leader of Clan Forsan across the forehead. <laughs> That's apparently grounds for execution. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an erdnot, except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. What does he have anyway? Ooh. I don't need that. Right. Inc increases the negotiation bonus by 10% though. This guy's got a lot of good stuff.
she's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's a lady. One of their children, probably five years from the right. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. I never thought I'd miss the tank. You see that special they had on the extra net? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Fix you something if you can't hunt. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... In talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Hello. Good enough? Hi. Right. Excuse me. <clears throat> Out of my Shepard! My friend. We've got swam off. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I use that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. A big one spoken <laughs> to you, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. What do the women of Clan Erdnot think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception.
I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? Looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. Go there first. The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan. Yeah, right in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tear you apart. Oh, yeah. You don't have the plate. Don't crowd the ambassador. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelm of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. Is this? This isn't the guy. This is. Uh... You seem like a well traveled Tenements. Krogan ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnoth from Clan Nakhor. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. If Nakhmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? 
We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. Eh? You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. Mm. I slaughtered my way to the top of my mess, clan, like... human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. I should go. Mm. I'm sure yeah. you were needed elsewhere. Pet fight gambling station? Oh, fuck. I'm a gambler. Eyes straight ahead. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. I've had enough of you. The Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, who Ooh. died fighting Saren on Vermeer, was posthumously oh, awarded the Salarian Silver Dagger and the Turian Nova Cluster. Williams served proudly with non-human crew members and was once Talking heard to say, alliance human or alien, we're all just animals. She is the first alliance soldier to receive either award. Big silver tod shot in his face. Then I'll put you on your back. Never to be seen again. The Citadel has a huge army. Millions of people visit. What do you care so much? Put down some real money, human. Some real money, human. Yes. But you put down two fifty to get two fifty back. Watch it, human. What? That's not gambling. Straight ahead. All right, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Let's see what the human can do. Wait, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? It's so slow. Wait, what? All right. Monkeys, W A S D. This is fucking. This is fucking weird. Nah. 
dangerous gorillas. How many waves is there? Three or five. The old magic numbers. Try your numbers. Yeah, yes. Maybe. There we go. Give me a reason. Give me a reason. The child. My son. He played tackle the Baron. I lost half my... Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. Buy everything. This looks interesting. Buy everything. Here, try this. Looks like Ur's finally found someone to follow around. Whoa, I got a friend. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa. She's a lady. Hmm. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the bones? You know you've sired a son. That's enough. I can teach him to hunt, but the best way is through the gun. Fight the bottom and saddle. Step back. My Varen is hungry. Don't... Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah. I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. It's pure still balls. Survive. Yeah, no thanks to you or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt, continue yes. despite circumstances. Inspiring. 
Yes! Could you be in here? It's fucking amazing. Who are you? I am Fortan, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. And I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very is important, human. Because lab coat. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, finally, someone understands. I swear, I am among brainless piejacks here, toiling among satins. I am the Lord High Researcher. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best defensive ordnance yet. A real ground pound. Uh -huh. But the new clan leader wasted my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. You can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Man, I need Salarians to really listen, I need to listen to that again. I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah. What else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more and infertile. Comes on. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create. Not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. I'll take yeah. it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize that. Fuck. Blood. Yeah. Bloody hell. Alright. How are you doing? Thanks for the rich last longer if they didn't hit every crater. Give me a reason. Always want more shock absorption. Those babies. One wrong step, Shepard. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. So you're in charge of Erdnot scouts. Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does a scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we oh. didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. 
And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Thanks for the information. Whatever. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Salarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Salarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. What's Clan Warlock's reputation? And how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly, like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Guld's behind it. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. <laughs> but the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen, only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Actually, I'm gonna go off this. Yeah, see, you just started. And I'm gonna watch it tonight.